What's up, Sagittarius? All right, so we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump straight into your tarot reading to see what is happening. But as I was getting into you guys' energy, um, there was this like kind of quote or phrase that I heard, maybe it's from someone towards you or you towards someone. But Sag, you're hard to read. Has anyone said that? It's like um, someone may feel like you're giving them mixed signals or you feel like someone is giving you mixed signals, okay? They can't read you, they can't figure you, you out. For some of y'all, you don't know why. And for the other rest of y'all, the other half of y'all, you like, good, that's exactly what I want them to think. That's exactly where I need them to be right now. Confused, don't know, you know, however you're trying to make this work in your favor. It's like they're looking, they're wondering, they can't read you, okay? So let's go ahead and let's see what's at the center of the reading while we have this going on. The Wheel of Fortune. Seasons have changed, things have changed. Um, and that's what's happening right now. Like some of y'all are going through a major life overhaul and before the end of this year is up, the picture of your life will look completely different. And that's what you want, okay? Um, some of you guys may, and I heard expiration date. Some of you guys may be approaching an expiration date when it comes to a person or a set of people in your life, a job that you're looking to leave, uh, a city that you may be looking to move from or a specific house location or whatever but something is shifting and changing and it's like literally taking you from one life to a, a whole nother reality okay but that whole expiration date like something something is coming to an end just like we're coming to the end of this year it's like by the end of this year i'm leaving this relationship or by the end of this year i'm cutting these people out of my life or by the end of this year i'm finding my place in another state and i'm moving you know what i'm saying something you got an expiration date on a goal or something and you like this time i'm making it happen i feel a very determined energy with this as well it's like 10 is completion i've done all i can do i've had all i can have i've taken all i can take or I've lived here as long as I can live here. I've tried as hard as I can try here. Time for me to move on. New season, new series, new chapter, all of that kind of stuff. Let's see if it's crossed by. Ooh, the full card, taking a leap of faith. It's time for a change, man. You say by the end of this year or this time next year, it's going to be completely different. But it starts with the zero. Isn't that funny? We go from zero to 10 or zero to 100 real quick. So some of y'all, woo, okay, it's coming in quick. Oh, oh God, okay, hold on, let me try to manage all of this. So for some of you guys, you're gonna take a leap of faith and you're gonna think, oh, it's gonna take, you know, a few years and da 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 but it's gonna go from zero to 100 real quick. It's gonna go quickly. Why? Because a lot of you guys have set it in your mind. You determine, I'm following my life purpose or I'm following my dreams. This talks about like faith, it talks about luck too as well so that may happen you may get lucky which really i don't believe in luck i believe in attraction and you attract what's what's in your psyche so some of y'all have made up in your psyche that i'm not turning back i'm going for this life-changing thing and it starts here at the leap of faith i'm moving to that brand new state i'm gonna make it do what it do i'm starting my own company i'm gonna make it do what it do but the funny thing about when you take them leaps of faith and it just be like, la, 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 la. And it's like, whoa, look what happened. You got way more than you bargained for. But why? Because generally sometimes when you take those leap of faith, you don't know it. Spirit realm know. Oh, look at them walking straight into their little destiny. Oh, they look so cute walking off the cliff straight to their life purpose. You know? I like that, Sag. Let's see. Let's talk about it. Let's go ahead and clarify these two together. We're going zero to 100 real quick. Ooh, control. Now, you see how I just said a second ago, oh, oh, it's coming all in. Hold on. Let me manage it. Let me manage it. I'm not sure if you can see this depiction, but it's a picture of a lady and it's two eyes behind her, like infusing the information and the knowledge into her. And all she has to do or he has to do is manage the information that's coming through in order to produce the results. A lot of you guys are going to supernaturally and spiritually and in your dreams and, and telepathically and all of that good stuff, going to get the information of how to take this leap of faith, what you need to do in order to manifest. And uh, this also talks about con um, confidence. It talks about like believing in yourself, high self-esteem. This is all the energy that you need 
to produce these results. As you are taking your leap of faith, taking your chances, oh, it's 2020, new year, new me, go into that with confidence, with that same, and keep that same energy when you're getting ready to walk off that cliff. You know what I mean? For some of you guys, literally, um, you're leaving a relationship and you, it's scary, but you're going to excel outside of a relationship where you may even feel like you've been controlled. And now without this control, or even if it's just your own mental blockages, without that, you're going to go a lot further than you thought. For some of you guys, as soon as you leave somebody who you're not supposed to be with, them blessings that you've been supposed to have are finally going to come raining in. That's what I'm feeling for some of y'all. Y'all, you either need to move or get away from certain people for the blessings to come showering in. Let's see what's in the deep root. Ooh, queen of pentacles. Well, look at there. There's one of those things that needs to come manifesting on in. Uh, the taking a leap of faith and then it happening like that. Now, listen, don't get it all twisted. Like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to drop everything in tomorrow. Sometimes uh, what may seem like tomorrow, like you just blew up overnight, maybe eight, nine years for you. But it doesn't mean that you're not supposed to act now. You feel what I'm saying? Now determines your future. Your future is now. If you don't do it now, it's not going to be there in the future. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. But anyway, this is the reason why. Queen of Pentacles is the reason why. Because she's resourceful. She, she's uh, He or she is a provider for their own family. They have their own. The Queen of Pentacles, she can have her own business. She's very nurturing, loyal, giving to the community, you know, uh, she could be dependent upon, very grounded, very uh, logical in her approach to how she does things. And this is why, very organized, even in the midst of chaos and taking chances of risk, very organized, risk taker and multitasker, okay? This is just kind of giving you some notion into who you are and this is the energy you need to embody and carry into the next phase. Let's see why this showed up. Why Queen of Pentacles showed up? rest and reconsider wow so a lot of you guys as you and this is what i got for somebody else it's a marathon it's not a sprint okay you're going to take frequent breaks throughout this leap of faith or throughout this destiny chasing thing you might have to take a break some of you guys are in the midst of a break right now but the reason why you're in the midst of a break right now, whether that's a break from a relationship, a break from a job, you know, you kind of, you just sitting off to the side because maybe you just terminated, um, whatever break, whatever rest phase you're in right now, it's for a purpose. Number one, we got to get the energy up for the next phase. Number two, the information that's coming to you spiritually. Sometimes you have to sit down, rest and be quiet in order to receive that information. Okay. You have to get your uh, your calling, for example. When, sometimes, imagine you're in a room full of people and, and you get a cell phone call. You put the phone up to your ear. You got to put your finger over this ear. And then what? You got to step out of the room so you can hear. You need it to be quiet. You got to get away from all of those people in order to receive the information coming through on that line. And for some of y'all, you've been put to the side so you can receive the information. This ain't just, listen, let me break this down because I feel the ancestors on this one. Um, this ain't just information. This is ancient information, okay? This is information that's being given to you because you've been chosen by the ancestors to break the generational curses. You've been the one chosen to build the empire, You've been the one chosen to leave the legacy. You see what I'm saying? And so now, and I felt, ooh, boy, I felt, I felt them on that one because it's like um, sometimes I'm, I'm feeling this maybe complain energy or this sad energy, <laughs> why me energy, you know, stuff like that. Because, that's the extent, because. Because we're trying to get you here, okay? So I don't know why I got angry on that. I feel like... Um, like the ancestors are putting their foot down because it's been too many generations, too many bloodlines to pass, and this has not happened yet, okay? I hope that makes sense. What happened in the recent past? Page of Pentacles. Look at that. So some of y'all, um, this is the queen, this is the page, this is the mother, this is the child. What I'm telling you about that generational stuff, that generational legacy. You see how... She has that coin, 
Well, this is the generation under her, the, the next generation that comes after her. Look at that. That's the same coin, huh? She passed that coin down. So some of you guys had children or, you know, nieces, nephews, family, whoever it is that you're supposed to hold the ball for and not drop the ball. It's like the ancestors are telling you, you got the ball now, shorty. The ball is in your court. And so you got to take that ball, though, and keep it right so you can pass it down to the next set of hands. Look at them hands reaching out for that. Y'all probably can't see that for nothing. But it's some hands, like, get in the same ball. I'm telling you, if you have been feeling like you stuck and stagnant in life and nothing has happened and nothing is moving forward and all that kind of stuff, it's because you're supposed to just be receiving the information. Stop panicking about what's not working, what didn't happen, what's not coming in, da da da. That's not what time it is. That's not what part of the season you're in. You're not in the, oh, let me open my hands and then all the money or all the resources and all the dreams just to go come falling upon me and I can't get up. That's not what time it is, okay? Right now is the time to receive this information. Let's see what's going on in your headspace. Ooh, look at that. Six of Wands, public recognition. This is shining, this is being recognized. They see you, they know, you know what's going on. I told y'all, you're setting up for something major. But when it's major like this, it's more so connected to what you were born to do anyway. So with this energy, I'm feeling that whole effortless thing. Like when you walk, la 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 la, and you're doing what you called to do, and not only doing what you called to do, but you're taking the steps that you felt telepathically or intuitively you were supposed to take and because of that boom there you go shining being recognized looking like you're doing something amazing uh even though other people can't figure out how you did what you do how you did what you did okay but that whole leap of faith thing is really jumping to me so some of you guys it's like that whole going on the stage energy let's see um what it is that's coming in the near future Oh, the temperance card. Once again, another major arcana, self-control. Um, balance in the scales between, you know, whatever it is that you have to do in reality versus what you do to follow your dreams and manifest those, okay? Self-control. That, that one is really popping out to me. Why is self-control important at this time? Or having a, the patience. Patience and self-control. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Can I read it to you, Sag? Dreams coming true. Three simple words, but that should fill you with joy. Why should you have self-control? Why should you be patient at this time? Why should you rejoice even if you feel stuck, stagnant, and nothing is moving for you? Because your dreams are coming true. Destiny, the calling, all of that kind of stuff. It's all right here. So you just need to keep being patient. Look at this. Hold up. Let's connect the two nines. Both of these cards are nines. This nine is rest and reconsider. Why? Because this nine dreams are coming true. And these are just so many major arcanas popping. The strength card, the wheel of fortune, the fool card, the temperance card. Let's see what's your fears. Ooh, nine. Look at that. Another nine. Nine, nine, nine. That's your synchronicity. Okay, pay attention to that. Almost complete. Almost done. We looking for that 10. Boom, we there. See? 10. Destiny, we made it. Okay? So we got to have a little bit more patience. But in the meantime, some of y'all are fearing that beat up mentality, that warrior, uh, that wounded warrior type energy, um, the victimization or somebody playing victim with you. Um, this, yeah, that two pants into that. Make sure nobody's playing victim with you. If you decided to take your time to rest and reconsider, if you've taken your time to follow your dreams, if you've taken your time, your energy and your resources to put that energy into yourself and making your reality better, do not be guilt tripped, uh, with other people. Don't make anyone make you feel bad for following your dreams because at the end of the day, if you're no good for yourself, you're no good for nobody else. Okay. Now this, um, fear the give up the surrender. Um, and this is how I'm feeling it. It's perception. It's like 
where spirit may be looking at you like, okay, cool. I got you in that position right now because I want you to rest. I want you to get your mind right. I want you to receive these downloads, these intuitive downloads that the angels are sending to you. But your perception in the fear space is, oh, I'm defeated. I'm uh, at the end of my rope. Things are about to be, you know, done and over with and I'm going to be overtaken by burdens and stuff, okay? What I'm being told for you is that it's just a matter of perception. What you may think is happening is not actually what's happening. It's an illusion, but it's the setup for what's about to happen. You did. So, let's go ahead and let's see what you look like at this time. Ooh, the Four of Cups. Now, what did I just say? Don't feel guilty or guilt tripped and all that kind of stuff. If people, you know, ask you for something and you say no. If, um, you know, you're not giving your time, your energy, your resources, your emotions and affections to other people. Okay, this is even if they're offering it to you. Like if someone is oh, let's go hang out. And you're like, no, I have to do A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Or, um, you know, people just really want to be in your space and you're just like, no. Or if you start doing stuff, pay attention. If you start doing stuff and it no longer brings you joy or it's boring now, you may want to pay attention to that. It means that it's literally time to move on. Um, and if in another season it comes back around, then fine. What do I mean by that? Um... I'm seeing it like even with a, a romantic interest, like, hey, let's just go hang out and do the, the, the like we used to. It's like, no, nah, I'm not, you know, I don't want to do that today. Okay. That kind of thing. Let's see. I want to talk about it really quick. Why is the four cups there? Basically, it's boring. It's like we used to do that. That's fun, but it's, uh, it's not the same anymore. Let's see. Joy and stability. Listen, these synchronicities going to keep popping. These are both fours. So while... You may be rejecting this. It's because you're opening your hand to this. In traditional tarot, uh, someone is reaching out with a cup and a person is sitting here as you. It's like your arms folded here. Because whatever this is, it's, it's no longer satisfactory. It could be a person. It could be a job. It could be, you know, a love interest, all that kind of stuff. But no, it's no longer satisfactory. Because here is where your mind, body, and soul is. Joy and stability. Where can I find joy, stability, and longevity in my career and generational wealth? That's what we're looking towards. Anything other than that, it's like an arm fold. It's a no. It's a I'm good. I'm head on now. All of that. Let's see what you hope for. Ooh, the emperor. Ooh, come on, synchronicity. Fo, fo, fo. We got the fo 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 going on right now. And this for is the emperor. This is a person who has mastered themselves. Aries energy here. You could be dealing with Aries. But this is just um, that self-mastery. I know who I am. I'm looking over my empire, what I've built. Why? Because I took that leap of faith. Because I knew intuitively who I was and what I was supposed to do here on this planet. I did it. I walked into my destiny. I walked into my life purpose. And boom, I mastered it. A lot of people are coming to that self-mastery. Not to say you're going to be the master and you're going to be perfect and all that kind of stuff. But in terms of who you're supposed to be. And it, at least even getting the touch, the sweet taste of life purpose. Which a lot of people don't even get to do. You're going to get to mwah, pucker up and kiss that thing. Right on this pretty little face. Now, let's go ahead and let's see what the outcome is. Knight of Wands. So some of y'all are about to take that action. In the near future, we got patience. Calm down. Get your mind right. Ready. Get set. Boom. Knight of Wands. Go. You may start off as the Knight of Wands. You may start off, you know, the full card, not necessarily knowing everything, but you're going step by step. Things are building along the way. Boom. Knight of Wands. You're riding your horse through this obstacle course of life until, boom, dreams come true. Until boom, destiny sets in. Until boom, now you're the empire looking out over your empire that you've built. You have the golden coin and you're passing it down to the next generation. That's what you're being set up for right now. Now, I know we love to hear about love. We want to hear about the ex, but what they think and what they doing. Now, I don't even, not, I don't see it at this time. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people don't want you to focus on all of that. You got to come up out of that sometimes and focus on the prize. You see where her eye is? Right there. So if there's no man right now, spirit didn't give you that, then I mean it probably not for this season. Because your emperor, or what you hope for, some of y'all hoping for an emperor, your emperor is at the next level. But you got to get to the next level in order to meet up. So let's work on leveling up for the meetup.
okay? That's what I get for you, Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for all your likes, your subscribes, your shares. I appreciate you guys so much. If you need a personal reading, you can go ahead and email me. Look in the description box to see how you should list and format your questions. Then email me, watersafives at gmail.com. If you're not one of my subscribers, I would love to have you as one. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you guys can also follow me on Instagram at waterstarvibes. Now, Sag, once again, I appreciate you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video.